It's been a while since our last episode. I hope you've been warming up for a wonderful new episode. Now in this session, we will be learning the building blocks of the Yeva language. Join me as we crack Yeva together. The Yeva alphabet has 30 letters based on the Latin script. A number of the letters are unlike what most people are used to, although some are available in other languages, albeit written differently. Let's run through them very quickly. A, B, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, H, H, R, I, K, L, M, L, N, O, O, P, R, C, T, U, V, V, W, Y, Z. These are all the 30 letters of the Yigui alphabet. Did you notice that some letters seemed absolutely alien or breathtaking? Let's go through some of them once again. This time we'll be focusing on them, learning how they're pronounced and seeing sample words. We begin with this letter which at first looks like the regular D in English. D is mentioned in two ways. First, with the tongue slightly between the teeth to produce the, like the T-H-E sound. The second sound is with the tongue behind the walled teeth or lower and upper teeth together. Sample words include dada, godo godo, and atadi. Notice that da, da da has the first sound da. D. And the second word also has the same sound, godo, godo. But in the third one, atadi, the sound is not d, but d, d, almost like the t, atadi, atadi. Let's move on. The next one, now it looks intimidating at first, but it's actually very simple. It is the actual d sound in English and many other languages. Now touch the hard part or the hard space right behind your teeth with the tip of your tongue while voicing this out. In the Anglo dialect, there is a mild roll of the tongue when saying this. Words with this sound include dase didi, dase didi, adetutu, adetutu, and devi, devi. If you happen to be Anglo, this word would most likely be mentioned with the row, and so it would be revi, revi. Let's try our next one. A, A is the name of the letter, but it is usually pronounced as E. In Ghanaian languages, there are two letters that represent the vowel sounds that most English or European languages write with an E. E uh, in ever uh, is pronounced in most instances as E eh, and occasionally as A. Eh. More on the second letter after this. Let's see a few words to illustrate how this is mentioned. Elabena, Elabena, Eye, Eye. Now in this second word, you'll notice that the E or the A sound is really being mentioned as A, but the third one goes back to the first, which is E, Nenema, Nenema. So Elabena, Eye, and Nenema. Let's move on, shall we? E is the longer form of the vowel sound. In classical Ewe, this is the letter used for such words as ne, ve, and e. The Anglo have a slight twist to it where it comes off almost as e. So for them, 
These words would be ne, ve, and e. Imagine you were blowing a speck of dust or some tiny object away with your breath. Let's try it. Now let's try a few words. Now here's another word that has two of those sounds. And finally we have which is the word used in Ubu for buying objects or solids. Let's move on. Now, the next one is um, the regular H. Now, H is not exactly special, but worth discussing because its older cousins require a little more oomph. We have words like Hajiji. Ahumu. Ahumu would be tempest. And then we finally have Ameha. Ameha. The sound is very easy to make. <sighs> now let's see another one. The letter X in Ever is actually called H. H. Now you'll notice that this letter is mentioned with a little obstruction of the soft palate. Let's try it again. H. H. Notice the slight difference between this one and H. So we have H and H. Practice with these words, shall we? H. 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 This is an even uh, heavier one. R. R. Notice that it is produced deep in the back of the mouth with a vibration of the vocal cords, almost like throwing up. R. We have words like Rei, Remai. Again, Rei, Reti, Remai. Oh, this one, the cry of the newborn. Ng is the sound that in English we have as ing, like singing. Gadangwe people are all too familiar with this sound. Jo nge. In ever, it occurs frequently, and examples include nku, nku. Angolo, Angolo, Mutifafa, Mutifafa. This one is also another tricky one. But remember the F sound we saw earlier? V is not much different. It is mentioned exactly the same way, except in this case, the vocal cords also vibrate. This letter or sound is a part of the word of, of, which is both the name of the people and their language. Let's try it again. V, v. It's different from f, f, v, v. Words include of. Vli. And so you'll notice that's the Vli waterfalls, which is Ghana's highest waterfall and the tallest in West Africa, is called Vli, not Wuli. Vli. Vli waterfalls. Finally, we have Votru. Votru. And this word means door. Door. And so here we have all 30 letters, which we have gone through. Let's try it one more time. A, B, D, D, E, E, F, F, 
g h h r i k u n g o o p r e s i t u v v w y z. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Before you know it, you'll be reading every like a native. But practice, practice, practice. Thank you and happy learning.